Hi guys, welcome to Digital Tech Joy. I hope everybody is doing good and you are really enjoying the videos that is uploaded on my channel. In this series tutorial, I am going to show you how to deploy your ASP.NET application on Microsoft Azure platform. We have already started this series as I mentioned earlier and this is, will be the fourth video on Microsoft Azure. And this video we will do a very simple deployment of ASP.NET application on Azure platform. So let's log in to Microsoft Azure. So I've already logged into my Azure account and here you can see this is a landing dashboard. I in my previous video explained about the each and every components and how to use the Azure portal. If you guys have not watched it, I suggest that you go and watch it. Now in order to deploy our ASP.NET web application, on Azure portal, we will be using this service called App Services. Now, this App Services is accessible on the dashboard where we can see the popular services already displayed over here, or else on your left hand side menu, you can see the App Services out over here also. And then, obviously, you can also search for App Services on the global search bar like App Services, and you can see the result over here. There is also a quick start center that you can use and access the service from there as well so basically app services will enable you to create a platform where you can deploy your application it also enables you to create build and manage your web apis for your mobile and also help you to create website and mobile services so if you click on the quick start center you can see the first option as create a web app let's click on start and here it gives the option whether you want to do build and host it and whether you want to create so i go with the option build and host a web app with azure web apps so i click on that now here it will ask for the subscription currently i'm running a free trial so i'm selecting that i've created a user group called rg resource group trade so this is my group which is there and you can give the name so i'm just creating as digital tech joint web app something that sort and this should be unique so yes this is available you can see the green tick over here so my url will be digital tech zone that is dtj web app dot azure websites dot net it's uniquely and globally accessible so this is i'm going to publish the code okay so i've selected the code my runtime will be dot net send point dot seven platform it will be for windows in my case uh, currently, I am selecting East US. I actually I tried to select South India and I tried to select Indian region, but the services currently is not available. So, so we can go ahead. So these are the three services you may try the Central, South, and West India. But as of now, I'm keeping at East U US. And then this is a free trial plan over here since it is running in a free trial. And then I click on Create. So this gives you the summary of the web app settings and then I'll cl click on the button create. Now if you click see the notification bar it is already showing that initializing deployment and it is deploying this app uh, setting up the environment. So the deployment is in progress you can see this is the name of the web app services and the deployment is in progress. So once this is created we will select on the on the deployment deployed web app and go to the properties so once we set up this we will open visual studio and create an mvc application that will be deployed on this service so as you can see your deployment is complete you can click on go to resources and directly go and access it otherwise if you go to the notification planet you can see the deployment success you can pin it in the dashboard so i just pin it in your uh, dashboard as well and then we can go to the resource directly from here so this is the resource that i created web app services you can go to the dashboard and here you can see these resources you can see digital tech zone web app is already created a few seconds ago we can also just over the mouse on that service name and click on this option star option which will mark this as favorite and you can see it in your uh, right hand side as well you can see it will be somewhere over here it can be you can see this option as well so now since our web app service is ready let's click on that i clicked on that and here you can see an overview so this is the overview this is the details this is the default domain 
you can see this is a publicly accessible domain and you can see other properties over here okay this is a free trial subscription which region it is hosted so now we also have other options like this is the hosting plan and the domain name web app code that is dotnet 7.0 then there is a monitoring so right now this is what the monitoring which has no then there is logs i have not enabled logs but you can go ahead and click on this and enable the log if it is required this is a notification service and this is a recommendation right now we don't have any recommendation from microsoft and uh, let's go ahead and click on this domain default domain I just copy it and we'll go to the browser and paste the url and see what happens And here you can see our site is up, up and running. Our service is up and running. It's like an if you recollect when we wanted to, uh, we had deployed applications on IIS. It is some, similar to that when our what we wanted to check whether our IIS local service is working. We used to type in the browser localhost and the page is to display it. A similar way, where this is a domain that is created right now and this domain is active and is running. That is what this that is why the page is dip, uh, displayed to you as a user. So this ensures that your service is up and running. Now, in under this domain name, we will be deploying our website. So since our service is up and running, it's time that we go to Visual Studio 2022 and create an MVC application that will be deployed under this service called Digital Tech Trend Web App. So guys, I have opened Visual Studio 2022. I'll click on Create New Project and select MVC, ASP.MVC and click on Next. So I'm going to host it this. This is the name of the project. I click on next. So right now it's a .NET Framework 7.0 for which we have enabled web app on Azure platform. We click on right now we just remove HTTPS and click on create. You can also tick HTTPS that should not be a problem at all. And I create the project. So this is a project and I just run this project and we are going to deploy the project as it is on Microsoft Azure platform under the web app service that we just created. Yeah, so here is our uh, website, uh, demo Azure website, and this is a home, and this is a privacy. This is a page that will be displayed. So let's do one thing. Let's host this as it is, and then make some changes to it. So right click on the project name, and select publish. Now when you say you get a dialog box to whether you want to publish it on a folder, Docker container, FTP, or web servers, there's local IIS. So I'm going to select Azure, and click on next. Now from here you need to select Azure App Services for Windows that I created and I showed to you. So this is what is Azure App Services Windows that I'm going to select and click on next. Now the moment I click on next, uh, make sure that you you have logged in. So currently this is my account and Azure uh, Digital Tech Joint that is gmail.com. So I'm going to log in. So I click on sign in. It should automatically sign in because already otherwise I'll just provide it I click on next and I'll give it the password I successfully logged in and it is now just fetching the information yeah, so once uh, I was able to log in, it is we are able to see the screen where we are able to see that the services that are available are grouped under our resource. So right now, if, if you recollect, I have only one uh, resource that I have created as RG Train uh, that is a resource group, which is one of the resource group, and within this resource group, I had created a digital tech join web app, uh, which is an app service. Now I could see that in this tool, once I log in, I'll be, I'm able to see the resource and once I expand it, I'm able to see my uh, app service. I will select the app service and click on finish. So once I click on finish, this is a profile that is created. 
and if we are able to see that in the profile we have the app service name and this is a web deployment now this is not yet published on the website you can see that url is over here but this url will not fetch any information as of now this is a profile that is created which has the configuration details whether it's a release or debug the dotnet framework and how do you want the runtimes to be deployed and all this uh, settings that are displayed over here your free uh, free trial subscription your resource group and obviously your app service name and this will be your url a unique url that i had um, mentioned it when i created an app service in my azure portal now everything looks good and we click on this button publish and it is publishing the website on azure portal you could see it's publishing to azure app service windows publish started you can see the same thing in your taskbar as well and this is output window here you can see it's adding the directories in azure portal and here you see digital tech train web app this is a service name and you can see it successfully published it and finally we are installing the asp.net core extension component components and you could see everything happening over here it's restarting the app service and now we redirect to our azure portal Here you go. So this is our site deployed on Microsoft Azure. This is our first website ASP.NET MVC application deployed on Azure portal. This is a global URL, public URL, and you can see the site is loaded. Now let us switch to the portal and just refresh it once. So here you can see our web services is over here. So now this has an active website. And when you click on this domain now, now since you have hosted your website, when you click on this, you should be able to see the page. So let us add some elements and republish it in our portal so that we can see things in action. We can just go ahead and add some code. So we go to the view and we click on index. So on the index, view what i'm going to do is this, i'm copy some code which i've already written so basically what i've done is that we change this index page we have actually adding a title called digital tech joint channel and here i'm actually using a iframe and i've actually added a url you can see right over here which will display one of my videos uploaded in my channel i save it and i first run it locally and just check whether the change is reflecting and then we'll simply republish it and we'll see how things so here is my uh, home page here you can see digital tech joint and this is a video that i have actually embedded so this is a video on setting up uh, microsoft azure uh, vm on cloud platform so this changes reflected successfully let's do one thing let's now publish it in, on our azure portal so here this is our azure portal which you can see and here there's currently no change happening we'll just copy this url and then republish it so right click and i say publish you can see the profile is displayed over here and i simply need to say publish so this time the publish should happen fast because it's already uploaded here you can see the output window it is uploading on microsoft azure portal and we should be able to see the change on the live portal as well it is successfully uploaded and here you can see my page is getting loaded the url will be the same and basically we should be able to see yes so we are able to see our title and we are able to see our video and we are able to also play it so this was a small uh, tutorials on how to upload microsoft asp.net mvc on microsoft azure portal using our web app services that i created now in, in our next video, I'm going to show you how to uh, deploy a web app having database driven uh, functionality like we will be creating a small uh, module that will uh, fetch the records from MS SQL Server database and also add an update. So we will uh, in the next tutorial, we will see how that can be accomplished. Uh, so I uh, require everybody to just like this video and comment it. If there is any other database, if you like to uh, show 
a demo then definitely i'll do that for you so guys this was the video this is the end of the tutorial i hope you like the video please do subscribe and uh, share my channel link with your friends colleagues and um, family members and help us to grow our channel thank you so much for your time